Hello everyone, so this love reading is sponsored by PsychicMix.com and this is also a personal recommendation. I know the accuracy of these psychics and the clairvoyance on this site and I really wanted to bring this to light so I reached out to them. They also really pick out the best of the best advisors and it's a site that offers readings for different areas of your life through not just live chat but also video and email readings as well as reading birth charts. Your first three minutes are completely free of charge and all new customers receive five pounds free once they add credits. I even have a coupon which is Moonlight 5 to give you an additional five pound worth of credits. So you can click on the link in the description box below if you're interested and you will see for yourself the incredible accuracy. I really wanted to bring this to light and I really genuinely wouldn't just recommend anything to you guys. So do check that out if you are interested. And let's begin with this reading. Aries, let's see what I can pick up for July 2019 for love. Oh, first of all, first card that flipped is the Emperor. This is your energy. Oh my gosh, if I could tell you, right, so in love for July of 2019, the Virgo Taurus and Capricorn and now Aries readings have all had their major arcanas come out. I, I can't even, this is absolutely incredible. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So your energy is, is really peaking, peaking very very high. A lot of you are going to be feeling like you're in power, taking control of certain situations and genuinely wanting to take control of matters that are related to the heart as well. Let's see what else is coming through making decisions, taking matters into your own hands. This is coming through very, very clearly. Exactly. Taking matters in regards to love on your your stride. Making decisions. So this really is about, I feel some of you have, have been wanting to know about where you stand with a particular person and this is now you taking that decision to open up to that person to ask them how they feel about you this is you taking matters into your control and trying to figure out where you stand with this person because you've got this judgment card which is all about making decisions so you are really going to be trying to you know make as many decisions as you can in regards to love <coughs> oh my gosh aries i'm so so sorry I'm just going to grab my drink very, very quickly. Oh, my throat is not doing well today. And I'm just going to take a little strepsil as well. <laughs> Whew, okay, much better. <laughs> Whew, okay, right. Making decisions, wanting to know where you stand in regards to love is coming through so strongly, so, so strongly. Wheel of Fortune. Now, for those of you that, you know, reach out to this person or you ask them, where do I stand with you? What's going on? Do you have feelings for me? I feel this will be very well received. Of course, you will know deep down intuitively whether this is something you you feel very pulled to do i feel that this is something really important to you because you really want to know where you stand with this person and so in regards to love this is something really weighing up in your mind hugely so for those of you that you know do decide you want to step up and ask that person have the wheel of fortune which means that the wheel will turn cycle will move it will turn to abundance i do feel for a lot of you there is going to be joy and happiness, there's a sense of a union coming forward because you took that action, because you made that judgement call of no longer walking on eggshells and actually finding out where you stand with this person. And, you know, what's meant to be will be, it will never pass you by. Temperance. Sagittarius energy, we've also got the Eight of Pentacles, which shows that you will really be trying to work on things, you'll be trying to make things happen in the situation. That comes through so strongly with the Aries energy of the Emperor, trying to take action, make things work, 
Eight of Pentacles is about hard work and I do sense in this situation you'll be working very very hard to get someone's attention to try and figure out where you stand with the person it's almost like you're going to be doing everything you can and you know reaching out to this person as well and trying to talk to them and ask them you know so that's really going to be happening and temperance here is about balance it's about making sure you're emotionally grounded and emotionally balanced you know so you don't have any outbursts or things like that because you know fire signs can get very hot and heavy in that sense and get very um what do you call it passionate about things and you know that they can be known to get a little bit aggressive in that sense but this is about just making sure you go into things feeling balanced feeling emotionally grounded which i see for the most part you will you will be but a lot of you have been weighing up options in in, in the sense that you know making a decision to reach out a lot of you have been thinking about the right opportunity to ask the person as well because you've got the knight sorry the nine of wands sounds like the knight whenever i say it nine of wands nine of wands is about waiting wondering pondering trying to wait for the right time so that's what's happening there queen of wands this is about taking action as well so a lot of you're going to be taking action in this sense and um you know this is about being in the highest best energy highest vibration a good aura so this is really about making sure you have your emotions controlled and balanced before you reach out to this person or you know making uh, a quick decision make sure that you know you feel very balanced there's a lot of fire energy really coming through Queen of Wands is good though. Queen of Wands is really good. Because it shows nourishment. It shows you being in in your own energy. It shows you taking action but also having good boundaries. And because of those boundaries, you feel to reach out. So that's showing through really strongly. Got the Seven of Pentacles. Again, this is about wondering what you can do. It's almost like you planted the seeds. You watered it you talked to these plants <laughs> this is a relationship that i'm metaphorically describing you talked to it you dug out the weeds you did everything in the situation with this person and now you're thinking about what more can i do you know so that's why you want truth and honesty and clarity and that's really going to be coming to you in july but i feel like you're going to be the, the one that has to take action in this entire scenario you're going to be the one that has to reach out and take action in order to figure out where you stand with this person you know there's been a lot of wondering and waiting but no action right now seven of pentacles again a lot of wondering waiting trying to do as much as you can but no action ace of swords is about taking action it's about finally making that call doing you know having that communication being honest truthful and getting all of that clarity back from the other person which i see you will there's a there's a big connection here with this person in the sense that you you feel like you can't let go of this person so that's coming through really strongly with the four of pentacles this feeling of not being able to let go very very strong it's also about a intense connection that you feel with this person there's this idea that you feel a spark you feel something for the long term which comes through with a lot of these you know these two pentacle cards there's this idea of, of wanting something for the future, but there's also this idea of spark and intimacy and, you know, a chemistry to this connection, which is just unparalleled. So that's coming through as well with all of this fire energy, which is also reflected on your energy and how you also think of this person. So that's all coming through. And the Wheel of Fortune does show that, you know, after you reach out to the person, after you gain all of this clarity, you will be feeling so much better within yourself. The wheel's going to turn, it's going to turn to abundance and for many of you I am definitely seeing a union. These feelings and this truth and this communication that you guys have will be the opening to something good stepping forward, especially because you've got the wheel of fortune. The wheel turns, abundance comes. It's again about divine timing, you've got angels in both of these cards, both in the lovers and the two of cups. It's about divine timing. You know, and that is really what's going to have a big effect on this situation is that everything is going to evolve in divine timing. Everything has its purpose. Everything will happen the way that it is supposed to. And it's going to be mutual. You know, you see that again in both of these cards, whether it's the Gemini, uh, sorry, the Gemini 
<laughs> the Lovers, which is ruled by Gemini, or the Two of Cups. It's about something really mutual, something that, you know, you're able to support one another, but also, first of all, this clarity needs to be achieved. You need to know where you stand with this person, and that is exactly what is going to be happening in the month of July. You will be taking action, I feel, Aries, to find out where you stand with this person. I see it being positive, okay? Anything that is meant for meant to be in your life will not pass you by. And so if, you know, you feel this reading resonates and you do this and you find that the person actually <laughs> runs the opposite direction, they probably just weren't meant for you. And it's actually really good that you find this out now than continuing continuously walking on eggshells and wondering where you stand with this person. You know, so I do feel that for a lot of you, this is very important if you feel stuck in a situation or you feel like you don't know where you stand with, with a particular person. So Aries, this is your reading. I hope you liked it. And also if it resonated with your situation, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much to those of you who have subscribed. Don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram. The link will be down below. And also check out the description box below on information for pay paid private readings. Um, the free reading giveaway as well and how you can enter for that. And my bracelets, which are on Etsy. They will be linked down below. They are handmade bracelets, spiritually charged, and for different areas of life. They start from just £3 with free international shipping. Link will be down below. I hope you all have an absolutely lovely day, night, wherever you are. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye, everyone.